Good day, my friends, and welcome to episode 26 of my Crestorio playthrough. Today is a day of big breakthroughs. Like, really, breakthroughs. Look at this. Breakthroughs! We are having now access to uh, cliff explosives, with it, which is a huge uh, advan advancement for me and my base design, because now I can finally get rid of all these nasty little boogers and oh this is so oh, fulfilling i was playing around these cliffs for so long and now whenever a cliff gets on my nerves i can just blast it so to begin with uh i put up a little uh well makeshift array of uh explosives production because i felt like the explosives are a key component in the uh, production of uh, cliff explosives, and so I felt like, come on, let's give it a go. Because uh, the cliff explosives are really something I felt like needing, and if you were, if you're watching this series for a while, you're you're already knowing what I'm talking about. So for today, we are uh, pretty close to um, the production of chemical tech cards, and I'm already so excited about that because um, this. This brings up really, really nice new technology options. I've already looked a little bit into it, and uh, okay, that's military tech, but we're also um, able to produce that now. But um, advanced oil pro processing, so there's my heavy oil and my light oil. I was already wondering where those things went. And uh, there are so cool, such cool things like atmosphere condenser, which are just producing odd these gases here out of nothing. Reinforced plates with walk speeds of 175%. And uh, electric furnaces, also a wonderful thing if you have the electricity to run them. Lab research speed upgrades. Advanced laboratories. We're going to be able to build even better laboratories with 50% uh, more research speed. Also a very interesting thing. Also a enabler to a new production ca uh, production tech card, yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to take a moment until we get there. And um, new mining drills and so on and so on. Really interesting things. Also, we need new production facilities for te uh, future tech cards. But among these things are combat robots and... Uh, oh, I was a... Uh, I was uh, really enjoying the look around and we're going to have fun with that stuff. So for today I'm going to uh, research the modular armor because I finally have the red circuits. So this is the first uh, power armor which uh, accepts modular, uh, well, modules into it. That's why it's modular armor. So let's get going. Um, to produce the... Uh, chemical tech cards we need sulfuric acid and I already put out the whipped out the calculator here and uh, the last time we went off with that I noticed I'm just checking out yeah I noticed that we're not needing too much of that sulfuric acid anyway so one of these uh, boogers will be enough so we're going to set up another chemical plant here let's check out this one here so we're going to need a few things among those a uh, seriously iron plates damn that's something i didn't uh, see coming but i'm going to uh figure out some oh uh, well some little work around here. We're going to splitter off some little uh, iron belt. Oh, we need threads for that. Okay. Because I figure that producing the uh, necessary iron plates just around here, around the corner here, is just the easiest uh, way I can do this because I have uh, limitless uh, amounts of fuel around the corner so I'll just uh, smelter my own 
iron plates here and that's that. Easiest way to do that. Oh, I need yellow belts. And I need a car. That's something I'm gonna explore, uh, research soon too. And also, with the availability of uh, cliff explosives, I can finally do some reorganizements. Because uh, a lot of these uh, things here were a little bit disordered because of the cliffs, so we can get rid of that stuff. Really looking forward to that. So for uh, cliff explosives, we need also empty barrels and hand grenades. So let's uh, stock up a little bit on the grenades too. Also on the ammo, I really like to stress out the ammo production. Oh, my inventory is crammed up here with way too many things. Uh, need to get rid of a few things again. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a filled up inventory here. Mm, mm, mm. What can I do? Not too much, but I don't need to do anything here. Just wandered about, but I don't need 100 more belts. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna free up inventory space in a second here. And drop off some iron ore um, over here. So modular armor is now finished. I'm going to research. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, I already have the circuits. Exactly the amount of circuits I need. Wonderful. What a coincidence. So I'm going to research a little, a few things here, like mineral water pump jacks. Nothing too special. Just some tools for uh, jobs I don't know of yet. <laughs> Basically. Um. I'm gonna get rid of coal here too. No, I can't. I need to get somewhere else for that. The coke production line would be in order. So I'm going to get rid of the sand at the glass smeltery. I, I do like to uh, get my leftovers to the respective facilities. There we go. So this uh, janky little thing I can't fix up uh, now too. Like, let's put this up as a reminder. Oh, okay. I'm gonna blast up a few of those uh, just to remind myself of uh, building this anew. This will uh, save up a lot of uh, space here. So, sand has gone out of my inventory. Those rocks, no, I want to keep them. Now that I think about it, I want to keep them. Silicon. Um, where's my, uh... There's the... Intake for the silicon. Also can get rid of the glass here. There we go. So, inventory is starting to tidy up a little again. Okay, now I'm having the modular armor. Wonderful. So, flammables. Mm, I'm going to research fuel next because I want to uh, build a car. I missed that for quite some time already. Okay, now then, um, this thingy wants iron plates and it wants 0.2 per second. That's just one furnace, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. So I'm just using this here real quick. Um, oopsie. I didn't mean to. I'm um, going to uh, put some water in here. <laughs> this is such a 
funky setup here. I really need to correct that during the next time. It somehow hurts my eyes, to be quite honest. It somehow hurts my eyes. But hey, it works. I mean, don't judge about a running system, my friends. So, going to fix that running system a little bit, uh, though. So, let's do it like this. Um, to explain what I'm... I think it's it's going to become quite clear what I'm doing here in a second, so... There we go. Just wanted to create an, an intake here. Oh. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> Why is the... Uh, Explosives lying here. Oh, because I reversed. Now, now it's making sense again. Okay, <laughs> I stopped making sense for a second there, but now I'm making sense again. Wonderful. Um, if I want to set this up in a bigger measure, I'm going to do it a slightly uh, bit more, a slightly bit more organized. Promise. But for now, I just want uh, one of these uh, er uh, of these um, chemical plants running. That's all I want. That's all I need. I don't need anything more than that. So let's do this. I'm needing iron plates, and I need fuel. There we go. Then I need some output device, and then the world is a happier place than before. Okay, so this will create the uh, intake of iron plates. Let's put it like that. This is all we need. Okay, and then I have sulfuric acid. Wonderful. Um. These are enough pipe to grounds to get uh, to cover a lot of ground, so I'll need to check out where I want to run this stuff. Um, I'm going to produce the new tech cards uh, over here, so the sulfuric acid for this uh, endeavor will have to travel quite a long way. So we're going to make a pipeline all the way there. So I guess I'll use one of these lines I'm already uh, I've already set up for the um, oil, and uh, this way it'll be a little bit more ordered when I run across these paths, and then I'm going to put yeah, yeah. okay you you're gonna see what I'm doing in a second. Okay, we're going to put it there, and now I need to check out there. This is the stuff I want to follow. Okay, that's quite simple, actually. Wonderful. So now I'll need to do it like this, and then we can begin our wonderful journey. Okay. So this is uh. going to be not uh, parallel, but I don't care. So, oh, guys, I need to go back for, for another second. <laughs> I pre-produced all these explosives. I need to use them. I have many uh, steel plates in my inventory. And uh, there are 150 explosives in the box. And uh, as you can see, these are quite costly, so I'm not really getting much bang for my buck. That's why I'm behind this so much. I mean, ultimately, I'm going to set up a uh, um, bigger production facility for all this stuff. But this is still so far away right now. I don't want to. Uh, um, ha I don't want to. Um, 
wait with stuff like cliff explosives until I have a proper facility. So I decided to do a little bit of a janky setup, but whatever. At least it'll uh, provide me with the stuff I need. And also I can now get rid of all that stuff. Oh, it feels so good to not be uh, um, at the whim of the uh, geography anymore. Take this, Cliffs. You are not impeding my buildings anymore. Oh, gosh. Didn't expect to enjoy that much to be able to blow up things again, but well. I'm not too surprised if I'm honest here. So, wonder how far away I'm from using Immerse Sight. I guess I'm pretty far away still. We're quite jumping into the mid game here, I think. So, we're almost there. Okay, so. Going to set up here a uh, crossing. So. Um, needing some more. <laughs> I'm needing some more, so I'm gonna be dropping all the uh, other pipes there. I'm going to produce some normal pipes afterwards, and there we go. Feeling quite weird to have only one facility up and up and running uh, for the production of uh, blue tech, but uh, hmm. we're doing as good as we can, hi. Huh? Okay, so now I have a uh, supply a, a supply of sulfuric acid. So let's check out the calculator again. So I will be able to. Uh, produce one of those thingies per second but the good news is I can uh, this uh, amount of sulfuric acid is enough to uh, supply six assemblers of blue cards so I think I should be fine so next up will be advanced circuits I already have these plenty and blank tech cards and glass oh my I don't have glass yet on my uh, assembly line. Well, we're going to get it then, because uh, there's going to be no action here without uh, glass. And I mean, I already have a big production uh, facility set up for glass, so that's that. And let's research the aut automobilism, because I have all the parts already available. Just... Uh, didn't notice uh, that I just need to research fuel. <laughs> well, duh. Okay. Let's get rid of the uh, personal armor here somewhere. There. Let's drop it to the floor. I have enough ammo. For the first time... For, since... For the first time since long, I'm feeling like I'm having enough ammo. I want to have a stack of engines there. And I want to have some new pipings. I have enough pipe to ground uh, units, but I don't have enough pipes. And I also don't have enough uh, iron plates. So... Well, that's an unfortunate and uh, unforeseen delay of uh, things here, needing the glass. <laughs> but whatever, we're going to deal with it. So, turns out, glass production is a lot more important than I thought. So let's check back into the hell mod, and that's one reason why I really started to love this uh, uh, this um, mod. It really helped me with organizing my uh, production facilities, because keeping track of all these ratios, facilities, and whatnot is seriously not that easy. So let's uh, check out how we're going to do it. So I have this one... Uh, uh, split off which uh, provides 
glass to the uh, electric parts. So I have this point where I am leading 15 units onto the belt. So where will I lead it across? This is pretty much on one height with the other materials. Wonderful. Can I bring it across with the steel? I can. So I guess I'll just drop another line above the steel. I should be able to do this. The only thing in my way here is this little uh, iron plate uh, lining. But honestly, I can uh, feed it over here. And this is going to be way more efficient too. So we're going to do this uh, somewhat like that. Um, needing to go where? There. So we need to go back up. And also, I need more explosives. Because I'll just get rid of all those big old rocks for, for good. And also, I need a serious production facility for that stuff. So ultimately, I feel like sulfur is uh, something I have a bigger need for, as I thought. So tell you what, I'm going to unlimit this chest. Because explosives are made out of quite uh, available materials. Um, or production... <laughs> Come on. Where are you hiding? Don't force me to use the search function on you. Okay, that you wanted it. So, here we are. Explosives are made out of coal, sulfur and water. These are quite uh, available um, materials and I don't need to be uh, miserly about that. So, I, I just gave that production array a nice... Uh, a nice intention to uh, fill up the uh, chest. So, automobilism. I now have a car. I can now produce a car, but one thing at a time. Um, let's research the flammables, and as you can see, I'm starting to cycle through these lower technologies and just grabbing up everything I've left up before. So, let's get rid of the cliffs. Ugh. Damn, that feels good, man. That was, though that was an inefficient toss, but the good thing about the inefficient tosses is they feel so uh, exciting that you don't mind the waste of your explosives at all. So I'm trying to bring this uh, over at the proper height from the beginning. It's going to be somewhere around this. Yeah, okay. So, so, damn, this is, this is feeling so good. I just hated to have, um, to build belts just for, uh, these, uh, the cliffs. It's just amazing how good it is when you can just bomb them away. Okay, enough of the prices here. I guess you guys noticed that I like, like that stuff. Okay. Hey, another cliff. Let's kill it. Oh, look at that. We're, we're mining, we're getting uh, down uh, to the bottom of this rock field here. Wonderful. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, depleting these areas because um, right now they are uh, hindering my logistics basically. Basically, they are hindering my logistics right now. Because this whole starter area where I'm right now still mining out stuff, um, I want to turn over into production facilities later. That's at least my plan for the future. So, let's run this through here. And uh, let's see when we'll meet up with the steel. And I'm going to see... 
how well my measure was. Cool. You're not meant to be here, friend. Okay. So almost, almost. Left a little bit more room than I than necessary. But that's ultimately not really a bad thing. So I think I'll just leave it like that because honestly, sometimes a little bit more room is not really a bad thing. So since I'm uh, around here, I'm going to grab up some new underground belts, belts along the way. So now I have to lead this whole thing. Um, ah, come on. I'm going to produce a few from hand. Handcrafting never gets old, you know. So. so the defenses here are holding quite nicely. And uh, since I'm pr uh, researching some uh, power-ups for my weapons quite soon, I'm not really uh, concerned about my safety for the, fu for the near future. For the further future, I don't know what these uh, guys are up to. I mean, uh, I guess the mod also has some uh, changes with the uh, um, with the biters in mind, but I don't know how they will look like if they are there at all. So. Here's the point where I was uh, talking about before. So we're going to have a little surgery with the production lines there. I need to put that under a into the underground belt here already because I don't want to interfere with my black magics there. And uh, here we are. Can already uh, disconnect from here, and uh, the rest is just a few iron plates for my inventory. There we go. So this is no longer in my way here. Whoa! Uh, what did I do with the automation cores? <laughs> uh, it was a underground belt. Yeah. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to understand what was happening before here, but I think now, it's, now everything is happening like as it was before. So I can also re research modules by now. Um, modules are enhancers for your machines, but I'm not too keen, in, too keen to get into that yet. Um, advanced radars, that's something I was uh, very, very interested with. I mean, one advanced radar, two megawatt. <gasps> It's a lot of energy, but we're going to try those out I, uh, anyways. So, uh, so while I'm here, I'm grabbing up some new yellow belt because I know that I will be needing lots of that stuff again. And uh, I'm going to pick up some undergrounders and I'm going to fill up my stack of loaders again because they never grow old. And there we are. Oh, some pipes some pipes. Okay, we're armed, we're set. Let's get going. So, uh, finally, I think I have everything I need to uh, produce the new technology cards. I mean, it has been quite a battle to get everything uh, over here, especially the uh, glass just... Uh, freaked me out a little bit in the last second, <laughs> but now everything is fine. Okay. So, let's get to the uh, tech cards. Um, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need six uh, tier two assemblers which need to be fed with four different uh, items. So that's something. Um, on the same um, topic, I want to check out the other tech cards because I did 
this before I was using Helmod. And I just want to check out uh, how these arrays have to be uh, have to be computed to uh, actually produce one tech card per second. So it boils down to six per uh, six uh, assemblers um, because I'm feeling like um, expanding the rest of my uh, facility to the same uh, production amounts. Because uh, it only seems it's only good if you're uh, having like um, an even spread amount of uh, tech packs or tech cards in this uh, scenario. So we're going to need basic tech cards as well. So uh, we're we're seeing that there is a uh, common denominator of six assembling machines. So right now I'm using three. So um, okay, okay. I don't know. Uh, while I'm when I'm looking at this, I want to dismantle the whole thing and uh, build it up from scratch. So that's something. That's something I want to do. Mm. Maybe I will do it though. But let's check this out. I, I don't think I need to do this. I have already set up everything in a quite expandable way. So uh, when I look at this, I'm having here the inputs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I just need to uh, check out that I have all the uh, necessary uh, uh, production arrays for uh, the inputs here. So we're having no problem with the blank tech cards. The automation cores are getting delivered from external sources. So electronic circuits goes the same. Iron gear wields though. Mm, how about those guys? We're going to need a complete uh, uh, a single facility for that. Okay, noted. And for these buggers, we need a single facility for copper cables. I'm pretty sure that one will be enough. Okay, so there's not really anything uh, different than before. Wonderful. So after checking out everything, I can uh, just um continue this facility as before and that's a very 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 nice thing to see so um going to do it as follows i see a nice option to do this so the wood here is running in the wrong way i have to change that so we're going to produce this so these are the output arms there we go and I somehow have to run the wood on, on a different route. Um, why? What the heck? <laughs> Wait a sec. So, uh, where does the wood come from, actually? Was that... Don't tell me that we're uh, working from basic tech cards, from a basic tech card facility that was uh, cut off from their resort resources a long time ago. It basically looks like that. So I remember that I had this uh, supply line here. So let's check it out. It runs down here and it supplies this uh, facility. But it doesn't supply this uh, lane anymore, so we have to change that as well. Okay, so... Okay. Quite a surprising little mistake there, but uh, it's just, as long as I notice it, it's not really that terrible. I'm going to split her off the wood from here. No problem.
So uh, this is still going to be a very small scaled uh, technological facility. We're really not uh, tickling uh, out too much uh, of the um, potentials there. Ooh, wait a sec. Uh, eh. There we go. So uh, I could do way more if I wanted to progress quicker. But since I have so many things to build in between, um, once I notice that uh, science progress is too slow for my taste, I'm going to build more uh, science, but for now, it's okay. Since I have the ability to upgrade my uh, laboratory complexes as well so quite soon, um, I'm having even less of a problem there. So, now um, I should be getting uh, wood back into my uh, array. <laughs> Okay, funky things are happening. So there we go. The army of wood is getting back into the uh, race, and I'm noticing something I don't like, and that's why I'm trying, why I'm going to fix it now. Um, I'm noticing that. Uh, if one side of the belt gets depleted, this whole array gets frozen, and this is not good. With this little contraption, I can uh, spread out the uh, upper side of the belt a little bit more. So there we go. Now things are working out again as, in as intended. So, after this little detour, back to my original plans. Um, I was uh, planning some little uh, expansion like this, and it's all it takes to get this uh, array um, on par. Um, with this one, it's going to be similarly easy. I just need to uh, expand further down below, or even. No, I'm com I'm compacting this li little bit here. Like I'm going to drop down the six of them a little bit more compact together. So I'm going to two, six. Okay, nice. So there we go. These are the ingredients. So input and output. I'm going to output uh, the red ones of just like there. Okay, well, let's put energy back into this. So, um, there's one guy left out. Wow, this is looking funky. Okay, let's wait here for a short second. Just want to see if they, uh. Well, no, 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 this is not good. This might mess up with my uh, arrangement here. He so. can just output there, it's no problem. For whatever reason, I thought that would be necessary. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat that here. And, uh. Uh, needed a second to uh, understand again how this place was working. So there we are. And I'm going to uh, put this uh, stuff right there. So I'm going to uh, drop the old junction and create a new one here. It's fine enough. Okay, so the old exp uh, the old uh, production facility is uh, already expanded. 
So let's create the new one. Um, going to create a new input belt for uh, the laboratories and it's going to run outside around them. It's going to be the uh, belt which will be taking in the um, blue cards and the new military tech cards. I mean, I could also use this belt here, but I'm well. I'm I'm introducing two more tech cards, so might as well already introduce the new belt I need to sustain them. So the moment I put a uh, I put the uh, recipe in here. They're getting a uh, fluid intake side. So now we're going to uh, connect in tech cards, glass, and circuits. That's a lot of stuff. Um, the tech cards are living here, and they'll uh, accept another uh, grab off here, I think. If not, I can just uh, set up another uh, facility for those. So, oh, okay, this is uh, not working out as intended. I need to go a little bit more narrow here because this is uh, actually the main lane of the uh, red circuit, so careful. <laughs> I'm um, going to split off the red circuits uh, right over here. So I'm going to give them a little bit of their moving room here. And while there might be more elegant ways to solve it, I feel like going for it good old snake in here. Alright, so I have the tech cards and then I need the glass as well. Oh, is this a good? Yeah, this is good. Like gla A whole line for glass is exactly what this uh, place needs, so we're going to splitter it off down below. There we go. Oops, that was wrong. Combat, but harmless combat, okay. So, we're finally over here. Oops, no. This way. Okay, so all I need is the sulfuric acid I dropped down here. So let's uh, get this. Oh, it's hard to judge over this uh, distance, but I don't need to be that precise, I think. Oh, I hit it. Nice. Ha. All right. Wonderful. Just took a guess from afar. Okay, now then, we're having uh, no means of outputting if I'm working like this. <coughs> oh, nasty. So, I'm going to... Um, we're having to do this uh, piping a little bit differently, I guess. Oh, I like this. This is uh, quite uh, quite challenging. So, but if I put it like this, now it's also not working. So, this is nasty. So, I think the only real solution I'm seeing here is... Hmm. Putting some distance between the machines. Possibly. I mean... If I do it like this, I don't know if that'll really change something. 
but I sure want to try. So... Yeah, this is going to be a little bit more cost intense, but I... I figured out a way to do it. So... There we go. This is going to be the solution to uh, of my to my problem. I am going to install something like this here. So this episode will be a little bit longer again, but well, I guess it's just how it is. I'm going to put down an example here so you guys can understand what my intention intention here is so that's how we're going to work it and oh wait a sec if i increase the uh space between those guys i can even solve it easier okay nice two four five and six Oh, I can intake there. So if I do it this way, if I'm not mistaken. No. No, that won't work out. Okay, no, never mind. There was a major mistake in my assumption there, so I have to do it. Just like I thought, two, four, and five. Okay. So, um, going to uh, do this like that. And, um, going to uh, just uh, put on one of those guys, and I'm going to, um, Turn on the whole array uh, later, I guess, but I want to try if this works out as intended. So there we go. This is the uh, machine like I wanted to have. And yeah, they get everything they need. And I'll be able to run a network of cables over here. So now I all I need to do is uh, drop down um, the pipings like this. It's a little bit odd, but uh, this way I'll save myself some work. Oh, of course, I forgot about the uh, connectors. Silly me. There we go. So, uh, oops. while this might be quite uh, costly with all the pipes to ground, but it is, I think, uh, still the simplest simplest way to deal with that with the uh, situation that I could uh, come across with. So. There we have it. I really wanted to uh, finish the production of blue tech cards before uh, the end of this episode. It was really something uh, that was very dear to me. So... The only thing missing seems to be the uh, sulfuric acid, so... I mean... There is no sulfuric acid in the pipes. Why? <laughs> Why? What did we do wrong? These guys are not producing anymore. So possibly both pipes need to be connected. We're going to check that out. Um Oh yeah, there's also the gas power station. So 
I'm researching this next and the gas power station showed me that uh, in this mod the um, um, I'm going to need as much oil as I can uh, pick up. I also want to uh, research the storage options for oil because um, unlike the vanilla game where your oil uh, has a combined yield and is basically uh, undepletable, here it has a depletable amount of uh, oil in it. So that's something I really want to check out as well. So let's let's see what went wrong there with the sulfuric acid. Because the acid is the last part of the equation which is not working out as intended. Also, I want to build myself a car. So this to, this needs 60 seconds of crafting time, so quite a while. So, ah, the water intake. I botched up the water intake. That's why. So... How we're going to do this. This shouldn't be that hard. So there we go. Now, there we start. Okay, my friends, we're having the new technology cards, I guess. Let's check out the radar powered uh, thingies here. And there you go. We're having the production of the new tech cards run up and running. So we're having the avail the option to re research wonderful new things during the next few episodes. Um, we're already pretty deep uh, into time extension, so I'm trying to keep myself short here. Um, next episode, I'm going to put um, put up the military tech card uh, production as well, and uh, from there on, we're going to be. Uh, entering new territory, which I don't know what what's going to happen then. I'm going to see that, and I'm looking forward to it. So my friends, feel free to drop me a thumbs up, a comment, or a subscription to my channel if you want to support me and my work a little bit more. If not, just uh, thanks for watching. Hope you check by for the next episode when we're going into completely new levels of research, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.